Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! A very tough question, lieutenants and economists. Very, very tough indeed. <clears throat> I shall read. Dear asshole, I am thinking of moving to Las Vegas or Florida, and I figured I would see which you like better. I currently live in Virginia, and our governor is a cuck, and the bars in my town have around two guys for every woman. I'm a 29-year-old veteran, single with no kids, and a few years of truck driving experience and multiple crane licenses. I am currently running a small crane now. What is worse during summer, Florida or Las Vegas? And how about taxes, women, good motorcycle roads, jobs, the politics? I'm a gun owner, so what are the gun laws like? How much would it take to make a video? I like to remain anonymous. All right, <clears throat> very, very tough question here, young man. It really depends on you, because I personally am in tor and tortured myself uh, between them. But let's, let's go through your specifics, and then I'll, I'll just kind of throw other observations I've had about it. Summers are worse in Las Vegas because they're warmer. Of course, this dry heat bullshit. People in Florida think they have well, it's a hot, sweaty, humid heat. But Florida's got the ocean. Now, this doesn't mean you don't have pools or anything in Las Vegas, but it gets hot in Vegas. Um, me and my girlfriend drove across. We came out of St. Jo uh, St. George, Utah, and you go down into the desert and it went from 95 to 115 in about 10 miles. And... Uh, we didn't have air conditioning in the car, and my girlfriend did not have a pleasant look at me that entire ride down to Vegas. It's fine. There's air conditioning and all that, but like Florida, your air conditioning bill is going to be super high. Um, so I would say it is slightly more tolerable in Florida. You can always go to the coast where you get a good wind off of uh, uh, the ocean or, or the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, but it's, it's not all that much better. Uh, so, you know, Obviously, more trees, more greenery. Uh, so it, it's a little bit worse in Vegas, but not by much. Um, taxes, both are tax-free states, uh, so you're pretty good there to go. Um, I don't know much about property taxes, uh, and I know they overbuilt a ton of housing in both. And even now, they're still trying to whittle through um, that surplus. I'm surprised how cheap housing is in both places. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, in terms of taxes, they're, they're on par, no state income taxes. Women, um, I have not really pursued women that much in either. I would say Vegas is a little bit more fun because the women, you get the foreigners and the out-of-towners. And whatever stays in Vegas stays in Vegas. Uh, Florida, I've tried to like go salsa dancing here a couple times. And now, of course, this is only the Tampa and St. Petersburg area. The women are pretty arrogant here. Um, I mean, it was it was it wasn't even a rude shoot down. I mean, I, I'm asking them to dance. This isn't like, can I stick your dick in your mouth? It wasn't anything like that. It was, could I ask you to dance so that I might buy you a drink? So I might ask you to dance again. So I might buy you two drinks so that you'd be so inebriated you'd want us to have me stick my dick in your mouth. That's what I was really saying. <laughs> but no, honestly, like simple asking of dance. I mean, they're pretty arrogant here. Um, Miami, I hear, is even worse. Great salsa scene, though, by the way. Uh, but I would definitely uh, choose Vegas girls over Florida girls. Uh, but keep I haven't pursued, uh, like, because it's, you know, I had a girlfriend for quite some time now. Uh, motorcycle roads? Yeah, uh, Vegas all the way. That blows Florida out of the water, and that would probably be a deal breaker for me because I like hiking and I like the mountains. And Florida is flat as a seventh grade girl. Um, there is nothing. I mean, it's flat. Ooh, there's a tree. There's a little bit of a hill. I think the highest peak here in Florida is like 300 feet above sea level. And Vegas itself is in a valley. But, dude, you have uh, Mount Charleston. And within three hours, you have the most beautiful parts of the West. So, <clears throat> without a doubt, you can hit the Grand Canyon. You do the uh, Monument Hall. You can do Zion. Utah is right there. You can go to California if you want. Uh, it's just amazing. It, now, of course, it's in a desert. You're in the middle of nowhere. But three hours in any one direction, it, you're just, it's beautiful. The only place I'd recommend better for motorcycle riding, I would say, is Denver. Uh, because you're right there in the, in the Rockies. And you can go all the way up to, to Canada, the Canadian Rockies, if you want. 
<coughs> but yeah, Las Vegas definitely with the motorcycle rides. Jobs, um, I'd say Vegas is a little bit better, but depends on where you're in. You're in construction, so I'd say you have a little bit better job out there. I'd have to look up the data and the statistics more recently. Florida is growing. It's doing rather well, but um, it, it kind of depends on where you, where you are. Are you in Miami? Are you in Jacksonville? Are you on the Panhandle? Are you St. Petersburg? Uh, construction's kind of booming here, but I would think Vegas has the better job uh, market for your field. Uh, gun owner. Vegas, uh, the gun laws, I would say, are on par. It, it depends on what you want to do. Um, but Vegas has more of a gun culture because you can go out and shoot in the federal lands. Florida's way too crowded and populated. You'd have to pay for a gun range, no doubt, here. Uh, but their concealed carry permit laws are pretty good. Uh, but I would say Vegas is a little bit better. And you also have the gun culture out there as well. So Vegas that. Uh, so basically, I, I would have to say Vegas for you, dude. If the motorcycle thing is really the clincher. They, they are just great. They're just great places to live. I mean, there's things I like about uh, Florida that, that I don't like about Vegas, but they're very far and few between because they have everything. The only thing that's different is, is yeah, the mountains and the scenery. Uh, now, what I'd recommend, though, before you commit, spend one week in each place. This is why this is what Wyoming taught me is you think it's great and it's beautiful and it's wonderful, but you'll find there could be something like it doesn't bother me. Like for example, perfect example, pollen. You may love Florida over Vegas, but all of a sudden there's a pollen here and your allergies go through the roof. It's stuff like that that you can't tell. I mean, we can look up all the economic data and look at pictures and all that. You can't tell until you live there what's really going to grind your gears and not. Like there's really no traffic in Vegas. Florida, there's traffic. Stuff like that, that you spend a good week in each state, check it out. See, you know, Vegas is a town. Florida, you can go pretty much anywhere. It's doing a bunch of towns. I mean, there's really no else to live in Nevada. Uh, so I would definitely spend a week in both and kind of let that uh, affect your decision as well. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're really great. They're right next to it in terms of, like, how I rate them. I'd say maybe Vegas just edges it out for me a little bit because of the hiking and the motorcycle riding. But, again, you've got to go three hours to get anywhere. I mean, although Mount Charleston is just right out of town, like 30 minutes. But the heat will get to you. So. Anyway, hope that helps, and I envy that you are moving one of these places. Toodles.